Hello, my friends. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. How are you doing? It's always my pleasure to join you in these special times that we have together here at the rest stop. This is the place where we read the word of God and we ponder the word of God and we rest and stop. And yes, we receive from God in our time together. Um, so we are in the Lenten season. We have started our pilgrimage. Yesterday we met and, uh, and we started our journey together. Now, I will say this, I'm not going to be coming to you uh, the entire time. So it won't be an everyday journey that I will come, with, come to you and journey with you, but just know that I am journeying alongside you. So during this time together, as we journey to Jerusalem, with Jesus, know that I am with you as well. I will be with you, I, not in the same manner that God is, <laughs> um, but I will be with you in spirit, uh, joining alongside of you in practice, actually, in practice together, joining alongside of you. So today I want to look at, we're back in the lectionary, I want to look at this uh, verse in the Psalter. And, um, and I won't give a whole lot of ponderings. I don't think I'm going to give any ponderings today, but I will give you a focus as I read this. Um, let's make our practice today awareness, self-awareness, self-awareness. That's an important practice during the season of Lent to take some time, do some self-reflection as we repent, as we fast, as we pray, as we give alms to the poor and to those who are a little less fortunate than we are. We want to do that as well. That's a practice that we do during, during Lent. But let's, let's practice today on this day, whenever you read this and see this, not read this, but whenever you see this um, rest up, let our practice be self-awareness, self-awareness, amen? Okay, so we're in this altar and here is the scripture. Scripture is Psalm 51, and I will read verses 1 through 17. I'm going to read them slowly in Alexio Divina kind of way, uh, but I will read it in a fashion that we can follow along together as we journey to the cross. Okay? Psalm 51, verses 1 through 17. Have mercy on me, O God. According to your fed, steadfast love, according to your abundant mercy, blot out my transgressions. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. For I know my transgressions and my sin is ever before me. Against you, you alone, have I sinned and done what is evil in your sight so that you are justified in your sentence and blameless when you pass judgment. Indeed, I was born guilty, a sinner, when my mother conceived me. You desire truth in the inward being. Therefore, teach me wisdom in my secret heart. Purge me with hyssop and I shall be clean. Wash me and I shall be whiter than snow. Let me hear joy and gladness. Let the bones that you have crushed rejoice. Hide your face from my sins and blot out my iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O oh God, and put a new and right spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence 
and do not take your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation and sustain in me a willing spirit. Then I will teach transgressors your ways and sinners will return to you. Deliver me from bloodshed, O oh God. O oh God of my salvation, and my tongue will sing aloud of your deliverance. O oh Lord, open my lips and my mouth will declare your praise. For you have no delight in sacrifice. If I were to give a burnt offering, you would not be pleased. The sacrifice acceptable to God is a broken spirit, a broken and contrite heart. O oh God, you will not despise. The word of the Lord. Amen. I got a little choked up there. Something got in my throat. And I guess I really could stop and do this again, but I'm not. <laughs> because things happen naturally that we can't control. And so that's a part of my self-reflection. It happened, can't control it. And so we move forward, we move forward, we move forward. So let's move forward together as we rest and stop in this scripture. Our Father and our God, as we rest in your word today and we practice stillness and contemplation. We pray, Lord, that your word would speak to us, speak to us even now. And Lord, we pray that you would give us a greater sense of who you are and we would have a greater sense of whose we are as we reflect and extend self-reflection today, we ask, Lord, that you would help us to see what it is that you want us to see. Create in us a clean heart. Renew a righteous spirit within us. Renew it, Lord. Renew our hearts. Renew our minds. Renew us as we journey and pilgrimage together. We set our GPS. Help us, we pray, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. God bless you. And I will see you all at the next rest stop. God be with you.